Hi guys! <laughs> Good. Wow, it's been so long since the last time I did a sit down, relax video. I mean, it's not that my videos are not relaxed, but um, yeah, I can't, I can't even remember the last time I talked to you like this, guys. How are you? Uh, <laughs> I just want to start this video saying thank you so much, you guys, for all of your comments um, and questions regarding uh, regarding. <laughs> regarding 30 day challenges. I mean, if you're watching this video, it must be because you wanna do a 30 day challenge, but you feel just too overwhelmed. And I get it guys, 30 day challenges, I, they are overwhelming AF. So give me, let me give you a hand, because even though I am not an expert guys, I, I have done a fair share of 30 day challenges in the past. So I think I can give you a few tips. Uh, this is, by the way, regarding any type of thing you want to do. If it's writing, if you're doing NaNoWriMo, if you're illustrating or just to want to improve or uh, feel better at doing something, uh, just like, this is for you, baby. I think the reason I like challenges and 30-day challenges so much is because you instantly become an expert. I mean, not an expert, but really good at something. And you got... you you learn so much about something and you learn a lot about yourself. Uh, one of the first challenges I did, I remember it was painting with watercolors. I, I really wanted to get better at, at painting with watercolors and I realized the only way to push myself and to just like do it, just do it, this whole thing was, okay, I'm going to paint one watercolor painting a day for 30 days. And I remember how comfortable not expert, but how comfortable I felt afterwards with watercolors. I understand them better uh, than when I started with uh, inking uh, with brushes. I felt the same way. Inking with brushes, did I say that correctly? Yeah. Anyway, you, you know what I mean. Um, and I learned a lot about myself, about my grit, about how I behave on 30-day challenges and the things that I struggle. 30 day challenges, guys, I wait, I wait for, if you wanna see your limitations as an artist, as a creator, 30 day challenges are amazing. After you're done with the challenge, even though you are really tired and exhausted, your creativity is sharp as hell, guys. If you wanna get more ideas, if you wanna be like, what is the word, like quick or sharp or awake in all the sense of the word, mentally, do a 30 day challenge. I remember the first couple of days I was really struggling to get ideas and by the end I had like four or five in one day. So your mind becomes really alert with new ideas. And I think if I can make like a time, let's put a timeline here. I love timelines, guys. <laughs> I think the first 13 days, the first 10 days, they're right. You still feel the motivation kick of doing a challenge and most of the people make it until the first two weeks or even the first week. But I think even though things get really, really tough and hard, guys, by day 10, 13, things really, in my opinion, get interesting uh, on those days. So if you can just push it the first two weeks and then see what happens, you guys, I promise you will see amazing results afterwards, but you just have to push it through, guys. Just push it through. I know it's a disgusting word to say, but just like push it. And the other thing I love about challenges is that you can reconnect not only with yourself, but with your audience as well. Since you're uploading a fair amount of content every single day, you get to see what they like, what you like, what is working, what not. Um, the chances are not all those 30 things you're going to do are going to be amazing. So you're also exposing yourself a side that is not well finished. All of the t-shirts that I did, you guys, that I just did, no 30 of them were amazing. But since I committed myself to upload one a day, or at least, at least upload a picture of one of them every single day, I, po I put myself in a very vulnerable position of sharing even the ones that I'm not very proud. And people love that, you guys. So even if you feel not comfortable with the things that you're doing, it's great for them, your audience and yourself to see all the things that you're struggling because they will feel related to that. I, I mean, I'm reading my notes, guys. All the things that you mentioned that you need, it, they're in some way related to motivation, organization, and preparation. Asian, Asian, Asian. 
<laughs> because a lot of you guys ask me how do you manage to do all this without missing a day or how do you spend uh, your time, how much do you spend um, on each t-shirt each and so on. So all the, what we're going to talk about right now is in correlation to those three things. Number one, motivation, which means basically what drives you to do this challenge. Now guys, <laughs> there's no good and wrong in this thing, but let me tell you, if one of your motivations is to win followers or gain more followers or get the likes, don't do a challenge because chances are not all of your pictures are going to get tons of likes and you're not going to gain like an amazing amount of followers in that month. Um, I caught myself a few times during this challenge in which, oh God, I'm going to put myself again, <laughs> expose all of my flaws on the internet, but I caught myself a few times thinking about like, oh, this t-shirt didn't get tons of likes today. And I don't think it's wrong to think about the likes necessarily because with likes you can see what people are digging about your work and what is working. But when the main thing is the likes, I don't think that's okay. In my opinion, you can defer, that's okay. I think a motivation, I mean, let's talk about me for a second. <laughs> I think my motivation for this challenge was, and I'm ruining this, I wanted to get better a t-shirt design because I think even though my illustration work good for Instagram or for like children's po uh, books and graphic novels, I didn't know if my illustrations were going to work on a t-shirt because usually t-shirt design is very simple and on the spot. I don't know if like they're really easy to get and uh, I was really scared of doing t-shirt designs, guys. So the only way of pushing myself to see if this, the, they were going to work was actually doing them. My, my other motivation was um, have pretty t-shirts. Uh, right now, I am not buying any clothes. This is my, my challenge of the year, guys. One of my uh, New Year's resolution. I am not buying any clothes from major brands. I, I am only buying secondhand shop, uh, shop clothing. So I wanted to have cute t-shirts this year. So I'm like, well, if I want cute t-shirts, why, why not doing it myself? Why not doing my own t-shirts? So that was a motivation. And also I want to test the waters, guys. I would love to do t-shirts in the future, me as my shop. And the only way to see if this is going to work is actually doing them and before like, committing myself to a brand and like print t-shirts and like produce a thousand, I'm exaggerating, but producing a lot of t-shirts, I'm like, I'm going to start very small and I'm going to just like doing myself, hand paint all the t-shirts, I don't care. That was my motivation. What can your motivation be? For example, experiment, test new things. Um, I have never drawn and painted with watercolors. Maybe I can do it this time. Um, experiment your boundaries. See what it's not working on your work. What is what your flaws, your limitations are. And experiment. Experiment with new types of writing. Experiment with new materials. Uh, I don't know. Uh, with new... I can go on and on and on and I think you get it. But experiment. Uh, the other thing is create. Create something new or go deep on something you already know. I wanted to create new t-shirt designs and I'm like, even if I have five decent t-shirt designs, I'll, I'm, I'm okay. I, I don't need more, five is okay. So let's do 30 and see what happens. Just like be driven by creating something and have fun. To get better at something or improve up something, I wanna get better at painting oil paint, oil paints, oil painting, you know what I mean. Um, that's an amazing motivation to get better at something, at inking with brushes, uh, to get better at your iPad, like painting uh, digitally, that's amazing. Or even character design, that's, yeah, I don't know how to end this. Yeah, that's amazing, do it. <laughs> now, preparation. This is the main thing, guys. A lot of people ask about preparation. You need to ask yourself what the challenge is going to be. What are you going to do every, like all single day, every day? You also need to ask yourself, have, have I ever done this before? And this is what I call the risk factor because sometimes you wanna dig your toes and test the waters and see for the first time what you wanna do. Uh, like myself, I have never painted t-shirts myself in the past and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna risk this. 
A lot of you guys ask me, what if I start doing something and I realize I don't like it? Just twist it, baby. See if there's another way of liking this. Or maybe if you're too scared of not liking the process or what you're doing in the future, like halfway there the challenge, before you start, try to see if you can see if it's going to work. I was in some way, guys, I think I love risk. So I'm like, I'm just going to do it no matter if I don't like it or not. Uh, but I highly suggest that you test this before doing it. I remember I bought tons of paints and tons of shades because I have no idea how to create my color palette in fabric paint. I had no idea how fabric reacted to paint. So I, I actually used <laughs> a, a, a bunch of old t-shirts from Ed and I started painting on them. I had no idea what I was doing. I was really scared, uh, but I was so motivated to have to wear my own t-shirts and I'm like, you know what? I don't care, I'm just going to do this and see what happens. Uh, but I highly suggest that you test the waters first before doing it, unless you really like, like the risk factor, just like go for it, baby. There's What is the worst thing that can happen? And last but not least about preparation, try to write down, guys, all the ideas that you wanna do for that challenge. For example, if you're going to illustrate something for day, uh, 30 days, every single day, try to write down all your ideas or at least have an idea of how the sketch is going to look like before starting. You guys, again, motivation is amazing because it lasts probably the first 10 days of the challenge, but before the, the, ten, the day 10, day 13, things really, really start looking very dark. So I highly suggest that you write down all the things that you wanna draw beforehand. In my case, it was really, again, risky, risky, because I really, I have no idea what I was going to draw. I know what, like how I wanna draw it. I like, I know the paint and the fabric and the t-shirts, I have them already, but I have no idea the topic of the t-shirts. I think that's why maybe for you guys, and even it was for me now that I think about it, 30 day challenges are so stressful, not only because you're doing something every day, but also because you have no idea what to draw it every single day. So not only you have to spend time doing it, but you also have to spend time thinking about what to draw. So please, you guys, write all the things that you wanna draw specifically if there's a theme involved. About organization and time management, because this is, a, this, this, yeah, this is really important. Not all your illustration, all your text, or the things that you're working on every single day, they're going to be amazing. You can't take two days on each and every single illustration because you're not going to make it on time. Most of my t-shirts, and I don't know if you have seen them, uh, <laughs> but not all of them have uh, amazing, like a lot of colors. Most of my t-shirts are just black and white, one color, and that's it. But those designs, since they were super, super simple, they, they allow me to take more time on other t-shirts. Um, and that's something that you have to, in, uh, like in some way, realize that not all your illustrations are going to be super high detail with lots of colors and layers and all the amazing effects because that will take you an insane amount of time to prepare. And also try to set extra time for illustrations or works or pieces that are going to take extra time. I said extra time to, twice, right? I don't know if I mentioned this already, guys, but I had an alarm at five, at five o'clock. I think five o'clock is the perfect time to upload something to social media because everybody is checking their phones at that time. So have an alarm every day at 5 p.m. because you know that you have to upload that work at 5 p.m. It's sort of like a deadline, a constant reminder of the time you need to upload. And last but not least, go, this is the most important thing, I guess, guys, about this video. Try to go one or two days in advance of your challenge. So for example, if your challenge starts uh, the first of, uh, of that month, try to start working on your illustrations the 28th of the month, the, the month before that. Uh, a lot of you guys ask me, how are you sane? How do you keep your mental health intact before this? I don't know if you can see my face, guys, but I'm full of spots and like, this is stressful. Um, this is not a joke, this is really stressful. I, I love the outcome of a 30 day challenge, but it is really, really stressful. And the only thing, the only way of taking your weekends off or have one day off of a 30 day challenge because 
by the way, you still need to upload every weekend, um, is going in advance. Go two or three days in advance at least and that would allow you to take some days off. Um, a couple of you mentioned what happens if I'm sick. I always get sick on 30 day challenges and it's because we're on a high level of stress so freaking high, we're so stressed all the time that we get sick and our defenses, our, our immune system drops. So be prepared and have a couple of illustrator, illustrations ready to go just in case. Uh, I think in some part um, I am alive right now <laughs> because I took all my weekends off uh, during this challenge and that was really, really great. But it's because I tried in one day, for example, to work on two t-shirts instead of one. So that was, that is like my biggest advice on this case, guys. If I can have a, like an open, open heart conversation with you, I feel like, oh my God, you guys, I was so scared when I started this madness um, a month ago. I'm like, what the hell am I doing? I remember just like crying because I already committed to this thing, but I was so focused about the challenge and what I want to improve and the things that I want to do. And I think guys, once you find motivation enough and you write down what you really wanna do, it's very easy to commit. If you set time aside, um, no matter if you're working, if you're uh, studying in uni or in school, I think once you have a very good set of goals and excuses, like good excuses, it's really easy to keep the eyes on the prize, if you know what I mean. I was so determined to make this work and to just like do it that I it, it was I mean it was really hard because it's, it's hard to do a 30 day challenge but I was so just like I kept picturing myself with 30 t-shirts uh, done by me and I felt so happy all the time and now that it's done I, I, I have learned so much about myself and the things that I want to do uh, not only in my show but in my in my life and now I, uh, for example, like practical things. I understand more painting um, in fabric uh, specifically. I know how to pick t-shirts on secondhand shops. Thanks to you guys, I know what designs work and what designs are not working or not working that much. I feel like, and my phone just right. <laughs> the difference between the friend that started and the friend that ended this challenge, I now know something that a month ago I had no idea about. And that is the oh God, that is something that I really, really, truly enjoy about 30 day challenges, but you have to do them all the way. You have to do it all the way, guys. I wish you the best. I hope you enjoyed this video and I gave you shared um, tips. I love you so freaking much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much to my patrons because you guys are the best. You allow me to paint t-shirts for a month and yeah you you are you're the best i feel so awkward right now this is like a first date for me guys it's been a while since the last time we talked so i hope this was a nice date i hope you're having an amazing weekend and a wonderful week ahead wherever you are and i'll see you next week bye bye guys bye bye i even painted my nails for the first time in two months so nice so nice <laughs>